from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hi, I'm Jason Martinez with this 10 News update. Police are looking for two burglars who ripped out an ATM from a store in Ramona. Two men pulled up in a pickup truck with masks on their faces, and they started smashing through the glass door to get to that ATM. After that, they grab a chain, tie it around the ATM, attach it to the truck, and drove off quickly. No word yet how much cash they got away with. A new housing center for homeless youth will open in downtown today. Urban Street Angels say this new center will give them the opportunity to break the cycle of poverty and homelessness and leave the streets behind for good. It's open for people ages 18 to 25. A happy ending for some students affected by the Brightwood College closure last year. Students who were able to finish classes before the closure will finally get their degrees. Brightwood abruptly closed its doors last month because of financial trouble, and that put the school's graduation ceremony in jeopardy. But fortunately, Town & Country, a venue in Mission Valley, is hosting the graduation ceremony free of charge. Flooding still a concern along the coast today, this time from high tides. Waves expected to reach 12 to 14 feet high. Signs placed along the coast and Oceanside as well to warn uh, drivers of possible road closures because of the high tide and flooding. The National Weather Service says this will present a chance of minor coastal flooding, also a high surf advisory in effect until 4 a.m. Saturday. And Megan is watching that. Yeah, let's actually show you that high surf advisory. We are going to see those monster waves through the morning remain elevated through tomorrow morning. And just be careful if you're going to be going along our coastline. We had our reporter Jim Patton out there, our anchor Jim Patton, uh, at Ocean Beach, and it was pretty impressive this morning. We're going to be drying out today. A slight chance for a few stray showers through mid morning with clearing skies into the afternoon. Mid 60s for the coast and valleys today. 50s in the mountains, a low 70s in our deserts. And tomorrow we talk about a warm up. Temperatures soar 5 to 15 degrees higher than today in the mid 70s all the way to our coast. We'll stay in the 70s through Sunday. About 5 to 10, 15 degrees cooler on Martin Luther King Jr. Day as a week disturbance passes by. Inland neighborhoods we're in the 70s and potentially a few 80s for the warmest spots tomorrow. It's all due to some Santa Ana winds that are kind of come on in. So expect those gusty, drier conditions, especially in the foothills and mountains. While the days will be the warmer, the nights will be cooler because of those clearer skies. We're in the 50s through tomorrow in the mountains with 60s Sunday, near 40s on the holiday on Monday and 70s through the weekend in our deserts. Jason. All right, thank you very much. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News app in your app store. For 10 News, I'm Jason Martinez.